Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soham and today I'm reacting to Ghost Love Score by Nightwish. And I gotta say, it has literally been 15 plus years since I listened to Nightwish. You know, I used to watch them, and you're gonna make fun of me for this, you're gonna laugh at me, but I used to listen to Nightwish music by watching RuneScape music videos. Now, that may seem like a foreign concept to a lot of you. What is RuneScape? RuneScape is a fun MMORPG game. What is an MMORPG game? Let's not get bogged down into the details, okay? I was a nerd, I still am a nerd, and I listened to Nightwish while doing nerdy things. And I would feel like I was entering battle. Like Nightwish's music, based on my recollection, was very orchestral, very cinematic, very melodic. I mean, the perfect music for hyping me up to go into war. So for all of those reasons, I'm excited to get into it. I hope you are as well. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to follow me along my Nightwish journey, among all the other journeys that I'm on. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. There it is. It's that epic sound. Oh, the synthesizer. Is that strings or, or uh, choir? Oh my god. These notes are so Nightwish. <laughs> Oh my god, what a... Oh, this song... I, I, know, I feel like I know this. Look at that stage. Ah. Oh, what a groove. ready. That power stance, her voice is crystal clear. It is haunting, it is beautiful. It's such a strange combination of things that I'm hearing right now. Her voice, I wish I knew her name. The singer is amazing. Her voice is crystal clear. It's haunting. It's an angel. It's soaring so far above. And then below, you have this like bassy kind of sound. This like twangy bass sound. I can't tell if it's the drums or the bass or a combination of both that's creating this. It's just an interesting juxtaposition. Listen for it if you're wearing headphones. I think you'll be able to hear it more clearly. I would not think to put these two things together. It's like groovy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like if a ghost was singing to me, this is what the ghost would sound like. It is so, it's like 
it's not woo woo y. Because woo woo y ghost noises implies that it's like wobbly and has no structure or form or stability. I mean, she is in a power stance mode, creating such beautiful and perfectly pitched notes. This level of control is actually insane. Like, I'm, I'm only beginning to articulate my thoughts around this, but what she's doing is beyond impressive. And to have all of these fun little melodic runs throughout these phrases, I mean, clearly she's capable and she is so versatile. And I, I mean, when those melodic runs happen, I am just, I'm like fanboying over those notes. I love it. Chimes. Siren from the deep came to me and sang my name, my love. Still I write my songs about the dream of life. Worth everything I may ever be. Yeah. Owns this stage. Oh, let's go. Love a good guitar solo. That was like, that was so, so smooth. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> I feel like. We're, we're in like some kind of like mystical planet, outer space, haunting angel from above kind of music performance right now. I, this is so interesting. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Also, I wanted to comment on this before we get back to it. She is standing so remarkably still. I feel like a lot of performers don't really stand as still as she is. And, you know, I can kind of maybe guess as to why I think it does help with the vocal stability and the power that you need from your diaphragm. For example, if you're running around, even walking, it's really hard to sing at that same pitch with the same power, with the same breath support, all of the above. So standing still makes a lot of sense. And she's not awkwardly standing still. She is owning that stage. It is really, it's really fun to watch her because she's doing so much and so little at the same time so she's really masterfully doing this and to me i feel like she has a little bit of a, a little bit of an operatic background by the way i'm hearing some of her uh some of her notes and phrases but let me know let me know if she's a uh, opera trained or whatever regardless she has a wonderful voice <laughs> Pretty. Oh, I love the strings. It's so beautiful. Like, I feel like. Gandalf is about to destroy all of the orcs, all of the Urukai. Oh my god, this is epic! This is so epic! Yeah. 
Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the key change. Oh, what is going on? This is all over the place. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's so crazy. I love this. What is going on? Oh my god, it just builds and builds and builds. I'm, uh, I'm losing every single thought in my brain. I'm, I'm, my mind is actually, uh, my mind is actually slowly melting. The song is doing, it's doing everything. This is literally like a ballad, uh, a cinematic orchestral nightwish ballad. I don't know what you would call this. Is this like synth core? Is this, this isn't metal core. What, let me know what genre this is. There's still more to go, so don't go anywhere. Oh my god, I I'm so I'm fawning over everything that's happening in this in this performance right now. It feels like we're like in a mixture of this like ballad also influenced with this like orchestral metal, also influenced with power rock, also influenced with like evanescence. Like we combined so many interesting combos to create Nightwish. I don't hear any band that's like Nightwish. Yeah, this is like an evanescence and totally flame me in the comments when i'm <laughs> making this comparison but it feels like evanescence on crack and combined with like a oh god what is the band's name uh, uh i'm not gonna come it's not gonna come to my mind tom hess he was in this band if you guys know tom hess the guitar teacher um yeah it this is really cool this is really cool let's keep going Power. Jesus.
Oh my god. god jesus christ that was incredible oh my god these are tears of joy that was pure ecstasy what i just listened to when she sung the words uh, siren from the deep yeah yeah siren from the deep that is her voice is immaculate there is not one single negative thing i could ever want to say about this performance, about her voice, about everything that I just listened to. Her falsetto, clean as day. Her chest voice, I mean, like, the power she has in her belt. Ah, uh, where does she get it from? I mean, like, okay, I'm going to harken back to the, the power stance comment that I made earlier. Her power stance is actually giving her power. I don't say power stance just kind of flippantly. She actually uses her power stance to generate those notes those melodies everything that she did there comes from comes from within it comes from the structural support that she's giving herself i don't think you could sing that song in any at any percentage level that she sung there if you were even at, at some uh percentage level uh of skill and i don't my i'm fumbling i'm losing my words right now you would you would not be able to do what she does if you were using any marginal incorrect form what can i even say this was this was such a trip i need to listen to more nightwish please leave me some more recommendations in those comments section down below ah uh, it like every aspect of this song it just kept delivering i felt like we, when we couldn't get more epic we found a way to get more epic when we kind of take back and let us sit, sit, sit into the uh emotions of the strings and you know reduce the dynamics a little bit I'm like, okay, wow, the emotions are building and we're still going. What are we building towards? Nightwish could really tell a story. And funnily enough, I'm hovering this one here. Maybe you're not seeing it on the screen. I'll kind of drag it into view. <clears throat> you see this here? This one. Nightwish, the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, no wonder. I mean, her voice is cookie cutter built for a song like the Phantom of the Opera. So... I will be reacting to this at some point too. Yeah, leave me some more recommendations down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to follow me along my journey and enjoy my reaction. Yeah, I need to I need to eat some food. I need to do something else because my mind is melted. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day, everyone. Take care and peace. <laughs>